Right, I don't know when this starts recording. It may have started. This one's automatic. I can't control this one. So. Um, I just had to keep babbling. So I've just got back in the Ibiza Cupra. Now I'm in the Alhambra. Brand new Alhambra. Bit of a change, as you can imagine. It's a bit more like driving a bus than uh, a go-kart. But it does feel nice, I have to say. Very high up. It is like a minibus. Uh, triggered the, uh, this is a DSG, so um, I experienced one of the first gadgets, which is the automatic, um, well, the handbrake switch, with a little button down below. It's also um, got a rear view camera, this model. So when I was in reverse, I could see out the back window, which was from the back of the car, which was quite unusual, but quite handy. Um, and yeah, I'm just uh, taking out for a little bit. Again, DSG, not as fierce as the uh, Beta as you would imagine. Um, but it does feel very nice. Plenty of room in the back. Uh, I'll do a, a bit of a write-up in the uh, when I put the forum post on about this with some of the press details. But um, lots of gadgets. The, uh, the, the rear door is automatic, so when you pull the handle, the door actually just pops out and then slides open electronically. Apparently it's got an electronic boot as well, so that would just pop open automatically for you. The door will shut itself as well, you just pull the handle and then the door shuts. I think the starting price of this is about 22000 I'm not sure exactly what model I'm in at the moment. I should pay more attention, but uh, chopping and changing between the cars can be quite confusing. So uh, I'm obviously not going to be chucking this around, but cruising along quite happily. If you have a family of loads and loads of kids, or you do regular taxi runs, this is going to be the ideal car for you. I do like the front of the car, um, it's got quite a, a deep grill, and I've taken some photos, so I'll, I'll put those up later as well. This is the official UK press launch of the Alhambra. These are literally fresh into the country, so I'm very privileged to be driving one of these. It's got the panoramic sunroof. Uh, it basically goes the full length of the car as far as I can see. It gets a lot of light into the cabin. A bit of a change runner used to an all black interior with no sunroof, which I kind of have to say I do like. Um, obviously this is a, aimed at a completely different market. And it's very good, I'm impressed. It's a nice drive, the seats are uh, nice and high up. Not super supportive, but then you're not going to be chucking it around corners, so you don't need that. Uh, I'll look down in a second when I can. I doubt there's a sport mode on the DSG. There is a sport mode, believe it or not. Oh, that's surprising. Uh, let's try that. Quite a bit of poke, actually. earlier the roads are really busy so uh, not really getting a chance to push the cars through the paces fully but um, say I have mapped out some routes for the press to take but I'm rubbish with stuff like that and I get completely lost so I'm just kind of well the engine stopped that'd be the stop start it started immediately that's a nice feature first time I've experienced that in a car uh, every um, Alhambra in the range has been badged Ecomotive because they come with these uh, these features like the stop start engine. Uh, the briefing might be saying that kind of rebadging the Ecomotive range. So basically, any car that has the stop start and the, um, uh, the braking feature, I forget what it's called, will be branded Ecomotive. And for the specialist cars uh, with the lower emission engines, uh, they're going to be E Ecomotive just to show that they're, that's kind of one step further than a super ecomotive if you like. Uh, so obviously in this day and age that's uh, what people are looking for. So it makes sense, that's why I say it. I'm trying to brand as many cars as they can as ecomotive. Obviously helps with the image of being an economical. But yeah, this is a pleasure to drive. I can quite happily sit on this on a long journey. I had a massive family, currently only got one son and my wife, so uh, no need to have 
this many seats, hence we've got the Arteo on order. But uh, I think this car's been a long time coming, for say it. The current Alhambra's been uh, around for some time, as I'm sure you know. And it's nice to have the uh, facelift treatment, loads of new gadgets. And uh, yeah, I'm very impressed. Having the um, DSG in a car like this is uh, Blessing, really. Gonna get used to this. Changing gears. Engine stopped. Silence. Strange actually. I think the Altair we've got coming has got this feature, so uh, I'm sure we'll get used to it. Well, it has, we've ordered the Ecomotive, so it must have. And it just starts again like magic. Camera. Hey, cool. There's some uh, bars that show your uh, turning direction. I'm not making a very good job of this. A pipe between two spaces. Oh, it's quite strange. Quite handy. Whoa. Okay, maybe I need to go forward a little bit. Didn't do a very good job of that. Fun. Some lines, I can't quite describe it very well while I'm doing it, but some lines turn show you in where the wheel turns and the direction you're heading. Very good, enjoyed that.